Hey friends. I um, had a, uh, I had an impression kind of show up for me the other day, and I'm not quite sure why it showed up at the time that it did. I think, you know, it, usually when these things happen, there's kind of like a, a, a seed, of some kind of thought for something that sort of grows. And sometimes I can retrace my steps and find it. And other times I, it kind of, I see the tree, but I can't remember the seed. But this time, what what came out, what came up for me, was a phenomenon that I've heard described as spiritual bypass. And basically, spiritual bypass, as I understand it, is when we draw, so let's say we have a, a, some sort of conundrum, some sort of problem, some sort of issue or, that's manifesting in our life. It could be a complex, it could be a a discomfort, a frustration. And, you know, problems manifest on different levels. Some problems manifest on the physical level. Some problems manifest on the psychological level, the emotional level. Some problems manifest seemingly in our external circumstances. Some problems manifest inside of us. But but all of, but usually if we are conscious if we're sort of look, if we know how to look for it we can we can see the level on which a problem is manifesting or an issue is manifesting and spiritual bypass is when we take a problem on whatever level it's at and draw it upwards into our into into our awareness of oneness and often and I've done this many times often that will resolve the problem or it will it will feel as though it has resolved the problem it'll alleviate the symptoms of the problem temporarily and the, and it basically does so by transcending the issue. It, we, 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 it's like we have an issue on a certain level and we go to another level and we don't, and it, from that higher level, from that higher vibration, either the problem seems insignificant or the problem seems, or the problem just disappears, stops manifesting. Um, all of which sounds fantastic, right? I mean, if we can connect with our higher self, with our higher vibration, with our sense of oneness, and kind of transmute the stuff of life into better circumstances, less frustrating experiences, what's wrong with that, right? Well, the answer is nothing is wrong with that, Ex unless, the problem, unless we're only doing that sort of like temporarily, and then the problem resurfaces. It, it just comes back again, in, on the same level, in the same way a lot of times. And if that happens, that's when we know we're engaged in a kind of spiritual bypass, because I actually happen to believe that transcending the problem Transcending our complexes is a, is vitally important. Like it's a, it's a, gotta learn to do that. It's a life skill, an important spiritual life skill. Um, and and furthermore, I don't know of anything more healing 
than consciousness, than drawing something deeper into our consciousness, to a higher level of our consciousness, and allowing the reality of that, of the kind of illusoriness, illusory nature of the problem to be revealed to us, and thereby letting it go. Just, it, it's like we don't even have to, we don't have to fix it anymore. We can just let it go. So there's a lot of really good news as far as that process goes, and a lot of, I think, you know, in, in most ways, it's a thoroughly positive thing to be able to do this. The, the exception, and the, the, what I've heard called spiritual bypass, is when we have access to that deeper oneness, enough that we can essentially deploy it when we meet a problem and resolve the problem, resolve the issue, but not, or, or, or maybe not resolve the, maybe that's the wrong word, we can alleviate the issue, but not really resolve it. And Surprise, surprise, you know, oh, I, why am I doing this post? Well, because I've seen myself do this. I've observed myself doing this from time to time. Because I, I, there, there are problems that I know I have held in the bountiful, blissful oneness of my awareness and watched them dissolve into their own illusory nature, never to be heard from again until the next time and so in other words that spiritual bypass doesn't mean stop transcending problems that would be crazy we, that's transcending our problems is maybe the most one of the most important things that we could do arguably in life if we want to evolve transcending our problems transcending our complexes is like it's like literally the thing we're doing. That's evolution. We just want to also, as we do that, honor the level on which the problem is manifesting and not assume that because we can leap to another level, that that's the same thing as resolving the problem on the level that it's at. Because sometimes it's like that, that, that higher capacity, that spiritual capacity stands in for work that needs to be done at a lower level. And this is something that comes up in a, in a very different way in the kind of like exterior world, in the, in the, the we space or the... Um, interpersonal intersubjective space when we talk about the way that integral theory and I'm just I'm kind of gonna throw out some jargon here that if you're not up on integral theory uh, as Ken Wilber has sort of espoused it and many other people have built on it at this point but if, if, if that's unfamiliar jargon it's basically a, a, a philosophical and psychological spiritual in some ways theory of consciousness evolving through stages and at various stages new capacities come online new cognitive capacities but also new new uh, their emergent capacities at each at each level and one of the primary takeaways for me when I was kind of studying integral theory was that after, once we get it, once we get how to do integral, and which is kind of like saying, once we get how to go to that deep place of oneness within us and see all of the other levels of our consciousness 
in an integrated fashion. In other words, we can understand that we needed to evolve through an egoic phase, a communal phase, an ambitious phase. We need to, that we need to evolve as the, you know, basically up the chakras. We, need, we needed to go through that process. We can see the necessity of it all. Once we kind of get, and, and so the, another wonderful and I think very important aspect of integral theory is we stop condemning lower levels as though some, they're somehow inferior or somehow deficient just because they are lower levels. That's ultimately a kind of insanity that we're trapped in until we can get to integral and see that all of that is necessary, but, but a lot of the kind of cultural issues we see are battles between worldviews at various levels that have, you know, usually like the higher level has transcended the lower and then rejected it and acts as though it's not valid anymore because the higher levels have often defined themselves by pushing off against the lower level or by being in antithesis to the lower levels which I don't want to go into it right now, but I think that's where we see a lot of the cultural conflict that's happening in our country right now and around the world in a lot of ways. But not to digress too far, my primary takeaway from, from really kind of wrapping my head around all that was that after we, can, after we get it, one of the most important things we can do is learn to speak the language of every single level along the way, or at least enough of the languages, enough of the languages of the levels to be able to interface with each one in a healthy way and ideally help be of assistance to any given level, to any given human being, wherever they are, to be able to communicate with them in an effective way that honors that level and ideally exerts just a little bit of gravitational enthusiasm, spiritual enthusiasm for evolving upward. If we can do that, we're living a good life. We're, we're, I see that as living a good life. Um, but in order to do that, we actually have to honor each level enough to really learn the language of those levels. And a lot of times this is what I see the problems with integral theory is you get up to integral and then you just want to talk about integral and you just want to get everybody to integral and it's all about being an integral. It's all about seeing no, it's multi-perfect, I will love that. And, and, and it sort of turns into, a, it, it's almost like the mind lifts off from the body and, it's, and, and, and it doesn't tie in anymore. The, the incredible power of the theory spends all its energy affirming itself rather than plunging back down and really doing deep work in the world on these different levels. And that's a kind of macrocosmic manifestation of what I would call spiritual bypass in an individual on a, on a, on a micro level, on a micro context because it's sort of the same thing of an issue is manifesting here and we just go to the other, go to this higher level where we, we know how to resolve it on that level. We know how to resolve it in, in oneness, in, in, in the sort of bliss of consciousness, but we don't actually know how to resolve it on the level that it's manifesting. And so it keeps coming back. And even though, again, it's not that nothing's happening and very often that transcending process is is instrumental in resolving the issue ultimately and does gradually exert a, a pull on a, a healing influence and an, and an upward sort of pull. Um, it's just that it can't, that's not, a, it's not always enough. It's not always enough. And I think again, I'm doing a post about it because I see this come, I see myself doing this sometimes and I'm kind of trying to name it, label it, call myself on it, and hopefully not do, not do that anymore. Hopefully be able to use the access that I have to a kind of spiritual serenity, inner, inner peace, inner serenity, to do exactly what it's supposed to do, to be that space, be the ground of everything, 
but be able to, to go fully into each level and be healthy on all levels. So that's, uh, that's where this notion of spiritual bypass has taken me in the last 24 hours or so since I started thinking about it. But that's where I'm at today, folks. Last day at Crystal Lake, heading home tomorrow. Probably do a post from Albuquerque tomorrow. But I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.